All right, just talking about the bottom of the decks. For the spread, we have the Ace of Pentacles in reverse. This tells me that there is no connection to a partner or some kind of repression caused a barrier, but it's just temporary. Also, you, you lost an opportunity due to some impulsiveness or a lack of planning. You had a, uh, some kind of a love relationship that didn't have a firm foundation. So this also says, you know, like off the right path, on the wrong path when it comes to love. I see love that's not very pure. Like somebody didn't have the right motives. And so it was the end of a new relationship or an exciting phase in a relationship. It was just not very stable. The other clarifying card is the Five of Cups in reverse. Thinking of Five of Cups, I see news, renewal, happy feelings, troubles are ending, return of a lover, moving on or building the love, reconciled lovers, sorrows over, getting rid of those sad relationship memories. Um... Also, this could talk about false starts. So it's a little clarification of both the Ace of Pentacles and possibly something that's coming after the Ace of Pentacles. So I see as in, you know, something didn't get started. It wasn't very good. And now, maybe in the present or in the future, it might get better. Basically, something's not out of your reach anymore. This would be out of your reach and disappointed here. Not so much anymore. There's like just a lack of sorrow. And this was a like big, big sorrow. I'm um, like, I would feel better off dead kind of sorrow. But here it's not. Um, and I have the feeling that this relationship is actually one um, that you ended previously. But for some of you out there, it could have been that it was ended with you. But I feel like Aries being the take charge person they are, um, you are probably the one who ended this relationship. All right, coming to the first week, we have the Knight of Swords Upright. And this is an Aries if I ever saw one. I know that there's a sword instead of a wand. Um, but I definitely see Aries just due to the, the brashness, the impulsiveness, the quick, the quick action, full-on action type of thing. I see a quick union. Um, we have the Six of Pentacles, and these go together very well. Six of Pentacles is clarifying your third week. So I see a quick reunion, maybe a quick offer of love for reconciliation, considering we have the Five of Cups, and clarifying this Knight of Swords, Page of Cups. So there could be an offer of love to reconcile, whether that's from you or the other person. Because you remember how things were before the change happened. And you want to go back to that ideal life where you were free and in love, carefree. So it's probably somebody from the past, yeah. And with the Six of Cups, I see this strong, urgent need to go back to that nostalgic time. Like, you, you need it really, really badly. Um, so that's what you're looking for now, but... Or in the future, I'm sorry. But in the... First week of March, this could also talk about the very, very most recent past or the present. There was an impulsive offer of love, like a new beginning, and it was just way too fast. You kind of just rushed in headlong in, into ruin, because he's going into ruin. He's going against everything, against advice, whatever, his, his knowledge, his conscience. He's going against it. And immediately he sees something's wrong. He doubles back and escapes. The next card for the second week of March is the Hanged Man in Reverse. I see hanging on to a love that's, you know, expired. Or 
you just can't be bothered to let go of this person or you just can't let go of this person. And you've been reflecting after that incident where you realized it was a bad situation and you escaped forthright. forthright. Um, and it could have been that you came to a sudden realization represented by the hanged man right next to the Knight of Swords. So not only did you rush in fast, but you also got out fast because you had a sudden realization. And this reflecting on yourself probably brought about something scary that you didn't want to think about. But this is a hopeful card because it says, you know, it's almost over. Just have some faith. Um, but you probably lost some faith based on this situation that happened to you. Now, with the Nine of Swords, I mean, Knight of Swords, you had some kind of strange psychic awareness, okay, um, after you had this sudden recovery from double back, doubling back. You had a strange psychic awareness about yourself and the situation because he's in reverse. And this normally talks about letting go of a previous belief or, um, a previous opinion. Like you have to take you know, a step back because here you were rushing, but now you have to take a step back and you have to see something about yourself that needs to change or you have to see yourself differently in the situation or you have to see the situation differently. And this says that you know, you know what lacks. Like you see it now, you know what was lacking and you realize you hurt people in the past from this new perspective. Like you realize you rushed into it and not only were you the fool rushing in, but you caused them to rush in too and you hurt them in the process. Also, this could be the other way around. This person rushed in, but I really see this as Aries. Clarifying the hanged man in reverse. The eight of wands. Okay, so this talks about falling in love quickly. This is the second week of March, so not only is it clarifying the first and possibly the past, with the hanged man, I see missed opportunities. You let something pass you by. You were kind of in limbo, um, and then something ended suddenly, and it had to do with love. And you decided to take the time with this new psychic awareness to understand what's going on. And this limbo with understanding is going to end with a message coming through some kind of communication possibly about a reconciliation because the nine of I me mean, eight of wands is right next to the page of cups so this person that you had rushed in with before they may come back and want reconciliation and you're actually considering it because you realized how foolish you were in the situation then again you know Switch the rolls around, because rolls often get switched in readings. Also, you the psychic awareness, as far as what the psychic awareness was, you could have thought, well, this is this is going nowhere. It's going nowhere fast, as far as love goes. That was probably the psychic awareness. That's what made you double back. Well, actually, no, I'll take that back. That's what made you double back, but the psychic awareness is something you got after you came back, or you doubled back, I'm sorry. So there's something, some other insight you saw. And it could be that your first insight was wrong, that it was going nowhere fast. Hmm. All right. Next, in the third week of March, we have the Nine of Cups, and he's in reverse. So it says, you know, didn't get your wish. Um, count your blessings. But just being unstable. Caring more about your needs than the other person's. You just weren't really, weren't really thinking about this person. And it says, deep down, you know you're missing something.
It says, you know, you were so close to getting that Ten of Cups. You really were. But you only have nine. You, you had some kind of setback. And I think it was you were very scared of this rushing in. And you fled. But now you've had time to look back on the situation and look at yourself and gain a new perspective. You were probably being selfish and childish. And you realize something is missing deep down. But even still, you want to demonstrate moderation. Okay. This person gets his fill. This person's super gluttonous and greedy. So demonstrate moderation, which hasn't been happening until you became the hanged man. Clarifying Nine of Cups. We have Six of Cups upright. So here's that Six of Cups. Um, you know, it's kind of funny. You went from the beginning Five of Cups all the way to Nine, which again is a big change from Five to Nine. That's a big rush. And then it's like you end up going back to Six. Like you go from Five to Six, that's more of a, a pace that you're comfortable with. All right, so Six of Cups, again, it tells me of a reunion, nostalgia, past lover, history, being innocent. Um, somebody who's probably too trusting. And with this curtain here, it says there's something that you were hiding. Only you're going to know what that is. It could have been, oh, it could have been you were hiding something from yourself. And so that psychic awareness helped reveal that to you or will reveal that to you in the third week of March. I talk about like it's the past because it's easier for me that way. Mm, just seeing the cups in reverse. Okay, I see this. I don't know how many of you out there this is going to be. It could be just one person, okay? So don't flare up and send me emails saying I hate Aries or something. <laughs> Some of you out there may be into a lot of relationships at the same time. Not necessarily nine relationships, okay? But this guy is very happy and smug with all of his dating and sleeping around, okay? And then here with the cups upside down, kind of like the three of cups upside down, I see being unfaithful to whoever you were rushing in with. Okay. So that could be what was hiding behind the curtain. And then we have six of cups, which tells me that you need some kind of support. Um, like that an, an old lover would give you, somebody you're comfortable with. You need some kind of generosity um, from a past lover or even family. Perhaps you want a family, just like the Six of Cups might indicate. And it's funny we talked about generosity because it's right next to the Six of Pentacles in reverse. And this is the generosity card, and that's in reverse. <laughs> so you're wanting something, and in that fourth week, clarifying it's not happening. Six of Pentacles Reverse talks about being disloyal and cruel, which again might represent that interpretation of the Nine of Cups. It's possibly you as a past lover or your past lover um, was disloyal as far as infidelity. Because we do have two sets of three cups, which could be infidelity. So they may have been unfaithful with two parties. Or you, depending on who this is for. This also reminds you, because it's in reverse, that you're going to meet somebody in an activity or a place where you have to end up being generous. So a charity function, that's where you, where you would meet somebody. But it looks like you are wanting to reconcile or someone wants to reconcile with you. So I don't know if you're even interested in that. This does talk about a lack of funds, and I'll get to that a little bit. Mainly I see, this is the man who's trying to give to um, two people and trying to do it fairly, but in reverse. It says you promised that you could do that. You could give all the attention. You 
didn't need these other parties. But in the end, you just couldn't deliver. I'm sorry, Aries. I really think this is you. Okay, that's why I keep saying you. And that's what I, my, I'm defaulting to. But again, whatever energy applies to you, go ahead and apply it the way you see it, okay? And you could realize your psychic awareness may have been you, you overreacted. Um, you're just kind of faking it until you made it. But you got, kind of got caught in something and you were saving face. So you just kept hiding in a, as a way to save face. And with the hanged man, see, both of these are in reverse. So this tells me you haven't been earning a lot of money. Thinking about the Knight of Cups in the fourth week, clarified by the Six of Pentacles in reverse in the fourth week. He's very dreamy and romantic. They tell him he's like the, the fancy knight who loves fancy things, but he has no budget, so he can't afford it. And that's clarified by the Six of Pentacles. So I see this not as necessarily monetarily, but it could be based on the Hanged Man and the Six of Pentacles. Um, so that's the only Pentacle card aside from the Ace of Pentacles. Okay, so it's like no job, new, no new beginning phase, no love, no new love at the beginning anyway. So I mainly think this is about promising all this romance and love offers, maybe even marriage or engagement. And then not being able to deliver. Okay. It could be because of multiple partners. Yeah. Mm -hmm. With this, you or the person you're with were taken advantage of in this relationship. You just couldn't deliver. Um, no, six, yeah, okay, so it's these together. Talks about being an entertainer, again, like an actor or being fake. Just with a really, really big personality. You were being super romantic, like something you've never been before. So you probably were thinking, what the hell am I doing? Um, there was some car, what was it? Okay, with the Knight of Cups and the Page of Cups. I think that's what it is. No, 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 no. Ah, Hanged Man. Hanged Man and Page of Cups. So from the first week clarifier to the second week's actual card, this pretty much says, what the fuck? <laughs> what the fuck was I doing? Going in impulsively with this offer, maybe even like a proposal of some sort. Um, so you've got that perspective, like, what the fuck was I doing rushing in so fast? Yeah, I've never done that before. Um, I was on some kind of love high or something, but now I'm clearing my head and getting some perspective. So that's what I was thinking. I was like, I know there's some cards out here somewhere that say WTF. Um, cause here, like at the first week you thought you were rushing in to something that was your dream come true. Um. And then with the hangman, not only were you saying what the fuck, but you're like, I'm fucking insane. Exactly. I, mean, I love this. I've, I I don't think I've had this together before. So Aries, you're very funny. But you're like, what the fuck? I'm stupid. I'm stupid insane. Uh, wish I had thought about that earlier. <laughs> um. <laughs> but, you know, the fourth week, since this is going into the future, you might wear your heart on your sleeve and you might make the offer to reconcile or someone else does. With the Six of Cups and these together anywhere in a reading, it talks about maybe soulmates. And then with the page, it says not be able to follow through. So again, we have two not follow through cards. And maybe you really, really, really want to deliver this. You're just not able to because something in your personality needs more. Okay. Um, 
also, you may really, really want a family. Um, with the Nine of Cups, I see this as well. But it's in reverse. So you really, really want a home and children, possibly. But you see your current situation is actually going against that ideal that you want. You really want that. Also, I see in the past, and you're afraid of this going into the future, which may be behind the curtain, is that there may be a false passion, like with the Knight of Cups and Nine of Cups and Six of Swords and Page. All of these talk about possibly a false passion that leads to oblivion. Then I can see oblivion with this Knight of Swords. Okay. So a lot of these clarify what's already happened too, I would assume. But yeah, in the fourth week, I see that happening, that a love offer is coming in. And for those of you who a love offer is coming in to you, and it's this Knight of Swords, Knight of Cups person coming in. Yes, you guys feel for each other. I see it. But unless something has changed, the Knight of Cups is doomed to not follow through again. And we do have eight as being a cycle with the Eight of Wands. And we do have the Nine of Cups as almost at a goal, but then being set back because we don't have ten. We do have two sixes. Um, but again, I see like two extra parties. So if somebody was unfaithful, they were really unfaithful. Not like as unfaithful as like Nine of Cups in reverse faith unfaithful, but... Uh, just like two extra parties, okay. 